But we currently, the most solar panels that you buy from IKEA are about 17% energy efficient. The record for, for silicon-based solar panels from an efficiency perspective is 27% held by the Japanese. If you trade a silicon solar panel for a Perskovite solar panel, you get to 32% solar efficiency. If you now put bacteria into that solar panel, you get to 50%. If you put graphene on top of the solar panel, you can generate electricity from snow and rain. But then if you, if you capture the heat, the waste heat from the solar panels using a tiny technology called carbon nanotubes, which no one would pay attention to on my starburst, you can get to 80% solar efficiency. At this point, the energy revolution basically takes hold. And at this point, why would you be buying oil and gas?